Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm doing this khaki smoky eye that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'm going to get straight into it as always. I'm going in with the Garnier Micella water just to ensure the face is nice and clean for the base. Then for primer I'm using the That Gal Primer by Benefit Cosmetics. She said that she had slightly like drier skin so that's why I use this because it's a brightening primer so it'll make her face look nice and dewy. Then to color correct the darkness around her eyes and lips, I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the orange color. And as you can see, I'm just placing that underneath her eyes and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then for foundation, I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC45. I know it looks really, really light when I first applied on the skin, but it does blend out to match her skin color. So I like to just place it all over her face first with a concealer brush and then blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. And to conceal and highlight her face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium. And for reference, I use the light, so that one's at the top, and I just decided to add the other colors in there as well. So you can see what kind of color it is in comparison to the one that I use. So I've just placed that underneath her eyes in a upside down triangle, and then just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium to Tan Contour Kit and I'm taking the shade Peaches and Cream which is on the top row in the middle. It's just a really peachy sort of highlighting color. So I'm using that to set her under eye area before I bake. Then I'm just baking her under eye area using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just on my Rebond Large Highlighter Brush. And yeah, just packing that underneath her eyes. Then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette, I use this on literally all of my clients. I'm taking dark brown and I'm just using that on my Pony Cosmetics eyebrow brush and just filling in her brow. She has amazing full brows to begin with so I didn't really need to do much so I'm just going really light handed with this.
Then just using that same concealer just to carve out her brows is in the shade 25 medium again. And then I'm just blending that concealer out with just a small kabuki style brush. I think I got this one from eBay. And then to set the rest of her face, I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder in the darkest shade, I believe, and it's called Medium Tan. So for bronzer, I'm using the MAC Give Me Sun. I feel like I can only wear this when I'm really tan, so I'm guessing it suits more darker skin tones. So yeah, I decided to use this one today and it really, really worked. Like, I really liked how it turned out. Um, I tried to use different products in this video so you guys can get a variety instead of just me using the same old crap. So yeah, I'm just applying that with my MAC 135 brush, applying that to the hollows of her cheekbones, around her jaw and forehead area. Then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium to Tan Contour Kit again, and I'm grabbing Havana, which is down the bottom in the middle. It doesn't look as dark in real life. Um, I don't know, that photo must just look dark. And I'm just contouring her face just with my Spectrum Cosmetics Angled Brush. Then taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder again and I'm just using that on that same beauty blender to bake her contour. For eyeshadow today, I figured I'd use all Makeup Geek eyeshadows just so it's easier. So I'm first going in with Frappe. I've shown a picture on the left just in comparison to the other shades that I typically use on other clients as well. So you guys can see like the difference in color or whatever. So I'm grabbing Frappe and I'm just using that in her crease as her transition shade. And then I go in with Coco Bear and I'm using that to really deepen up the crease and I'm loving ready orangey tones in the crease lately and I just thought it went well with the khaki green that we're going to put in the lid well on the lid not in the lid then going in with makeup geeks venom single eyeshadow I've just sprayed my brush with a bit of fix plus before just to intensify the pigment and I'm just packing that all over the mobile lid Then taking Makeup Geek's Corrupt, which is a matte black. I'm just using that on my MAC 217 brush and just placing that in the outer corners of her eyes and blending it out. Then first up, I'm taking Coco Bear to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm just using this as a transition shade for the lower lash line. Then I go in with Corrupt, which is by Makeup Geek, and I'm just using that on a tapered Zoeva brush. I'll leave brushes listed down below as always, and also using that to smoke out her lower lash line. Then I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black and lining her waterline. Then taking Corrupt again, I'm using that to smoke out that liner that we put in her waterline just now, just because it's still wet and it can transfer, so I like to use that to really smoke it out. It really does make the biggest difference. Then to highlight her inner corners, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. Such a stunning color and yeah, it's like my favorite highlighter at the moment. Then for liner, I'm using the Tarte Clay Paint Liner in black, just on one of my Zoeva winged liner brushes and creating a small wing. The 
the lashes I used are Stella Rose by Model Rock Lashes. They're actually double layered. They are so amazing. And I just stuck them on with the Duo Lash Glue. Then for blush, I'm taking the Hot Mama by The Balm Cosmetics. I love this blush so much. It's so shimmery and it just makes the face look so glowy and perfect. Then for highlighter, I'm using an old favorite, which is So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills, just on her highlighting brush and just highlighting the high points of her face. for lips we kind of improvised because I didn't have a dark enough liner so I went in with the Makeup Geek Spectrum liner this was in dark brown and then I went over it with the Sher lip liner by Gerard Cosmetics just to make it a little bit lighter because I feel like it was a bit dark just the brown by itself and then the lipstick I used was Whirl by MAC and then I just used a clear lip gloss over top And then to finish off the look, I'm setting her face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had heaps of requests to do a makeup tutorial on a woman with color. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.